Welcome back, insufferable gaming fans. Today, Strider Hyru is tackling Africa. Home of birds and bugs and insidious nature. And guys that dangle upside down from trees. Presumably all day long. Waiting. Like they've nothing better to do with their lives. They couldn't pursue a technical career, so they had to go to school for upside-down shotgun dangling. These things are gonna fall as soon as we jump on them. Like so. Sometimes the quickest route is to just take your hits and move on. Luckily, we're likely to find some health pickups on the way. I said we're likely to find some health pickups on the way. Health pickups? Health pickups. Any second now. There we go. Oh my goodness. I just fell right off of that, didn't I? This level's more irritating than anything else. Sometimes you'll blaze right through it, no problems, no fuss, no muss. Other times you'll trip over every other stumbling block that they throw at you. I'm having one of the latter situations today, apparently. Oh no, slow moving obstacles. Do not fall down here. As you can see, there are spikes. No one likes landing ass first on spikes. Next, we are hindered, or not so much hindered as accosted, by some low dangling ceiling dwellers. For this area, do not fall down that pit or you will have to climb back up via moving platforms and low dangling ceilings. There's nothing down there that can actually harm you, except for some fishmen, but it's such a pain in the ass doing vertical jumping in this game that it's ridiculous. This is another one of those moving form areas. You might have to jump out over to get the thing to spawn. No, oh my god, I feel like an idiot now. I have a feeling I'm going to, yep, have to go all the way back now. You can't see it from your end, but I'm hanging my head in abject shame right now. Now we face shark men and dangly bits and all manner of malfeasance. And we get to climb up this pain in the ass area. The problem with climbing back up here is that the hit detection on this game is ridiculous. Wall jumping, hitboxes, all of these things are bad. And not the awesome kind of bad. Not the good kind of bad like you want, but the bad kind of bad that you hate. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and use a medical here. Tech points are certainly in no short supply. Okay, let's see if we can do this with 100% less fail this time. That's a little more like it. Now we're making some progress. 
So guess what comes up next? If you set another cookie cutter boss, you win the prize. Sliding is a good way to avoid those shots. You'll notice these things just get a little bit faster every time. If you're near the left end of the screen, you can usually slash it a couple of times as it goes past. Boing. And with that, the dreadful devil has been defeated. Hooray! Floppy disk. That means we can get out of here and check out what it has to say. Well, that's all of the discs, so that's a plus. I'll have to keep a lookout for any more of those. Bleh. That guy looks like he got hit with an ugly bus. It's either Fascius or Face Ass. I'm not sure of the exact punctuation there. And he's meeting with Matic, the Strider boss. And Sheena's missing. Well, time to break up this little party, I suppose. We can't just walk away from this whole thing and call it a day. We have to go to LA. Which, if my sources are correct, will soon be falling into the ocean anyway. But this game takes place in the past future. Oh goody, dagger platforms again. You know how I feel about those. Pretty soon we should be getting to the kind where we have more than one option. If your knee-jerk reaction is to duck when... If your knee-jerk reaction is to duck when you hit the edge of those, then... You'll automatically go in the first one every time. However, I still managed to pick the wrong one. Which means we gotta go back around. Ah! Okay, that was just foolish of me. Now we're making some progress. This looks like a good place for a motorcycle boss. Yep, ramps. Middle of the room. Had to happen. Ah! Ceiling moles. Hey, look, it's Sheena. Get revenge for me. Okay, apparently she died. Died, um. Uh, you okay there? You okay? I'm just get. You sure you're alright? Okay. I'm bound to crash into at least one of these pointy sticks. Huh, guess not. No one's more surprised than I. Ha, you fools. Tempered glass can't be broken by human... Pa okay, you know what? I've personally broken tempered glass before. He's taunting us because he's behind a glass dome. Oh, I'm breaking it. Yeah. That can't be true, you monster. Yeah, I can break glass. Apparently I have superhuman powers. Or a brick. It's really su- There's that key we were missing. Tempered glass, my ass. That's just ridiculous. There's no sense in that. Well, with the final key, I- do believe we'll be able to head on over to Australia, but we'll have to wait till next time to find out. Until then, this is Rosser. Take a drink. <laughs>